Rise of Fascism, Totalitarian Dictators. After World War I, many nations were struggling to rebuild. A global depression in the 1930s led to high unemployment and a sense of desperation in Europe. The Treaty of Versailles created bitterness among many nations. In this climate of post-war uncertainty, nationalism increased and citizens turned to totalitarian dictators to rule the nation. Joseph Stalin, Benito Mussolini and Adolf Hitler, Hideki Tojo, Totalitarian leaders are dictators who control all aspects of the government and the lives of the citizens. Totalitarian leaders gained support by promising jobs, promoting nationalism, and using propaganda. Dictators held on to their power by using censorship, secret police, denying liberties, and eliminating opposing rivals or political parties. Among the first totalitarian dictators was Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union. Stalin was a communist and seized all property, farms, factories in order to control the economy and create equality. He used a secret police and the Great Purge to eliminate rivals. Stalin's five-year plans and collective farms improved the Soviet Union's industrial and agricultural output. Not all totalitarian dictators were communists. In Italy, Germany, and Spain, people turned to an extremely nationalist government called fascism. Fascist governments were controlled by dictators who demanded loyalty from citizens. fascists did not offer democracy and used one party to rule the nation. Unlike communists, fascists believed people could keep their property. Mussolini and Hitler believed in fascism. The idea that nations need strong dictators, total authority by one party, but that people could keep their private property. Stalin was a communist, and he believed that the government should control all property and business. Communism versus Fascism. In 
In Italy, Benito Mussolini formed the fascist party. Mussolini gained popularity by promising to revive the economy, build the military, and expand Italy to create a new Roman Empire. Mussolini named his fascist party after Fasces, a Roman symbol of authority and power. Mussolini created the Black Shirts, a secret police force, to enforce the goals of his fascist party. By 1922, Mussolini was popular enough to lead a march on Rome and forced the Italian king to name him prime minister. As prime minister, Benito Mussolini was known as Il Duce, the chief. Mussolini ended democracy and all opposition parties. Mussolini built up the military to create new jobs. He planned to conquer new territories in Africa for Italy. The Nazis were a fascist group in Germany that wanted to overthrow the disloyal Weimar Republic. Adolf Hitler was an early Nazi recruit and quickly rose to power in the party. Hitler was impressed by Mussolini and used many of his ideas to make the Nazi party strong in Germany. Nazis created their own militia called the Brown Shirts. Hitler planned a march on Munich, but he was arrested and jailed for nine months. While in jail, Hitler wrote Mein Kampf, which outlined his plans for Germany. He wrote that Germans were members of a master race called Aryans, and non-Aryans were inferior. He declared that Germans needed Lebensraum, living room, and should conquer Eastern Europe and Russia. He called the Versailles Treaty an outrage and vowed to regain land taken from Germany after the war. When Hitler was released from jail in 1924, he spent years organizing the Nazis into Germany's most powerful political party. In 1933, Hitler was named Chancellor, or Prime Minister, of Germany. As Chancellor, Hitler used his power to name himself Dictator. He called his government the Third Reich to promote pride and nationalism. Hitler put Germans to work by building factories, highways, weapons, and increasing the military. He created the government protection squad called the SS 
and a secret police called the Gestapo to eliminate rivals and control all aspects of Germany. In 1935, Hitler began a series of anti-Semitic laws called the Nuremberg Laws that deprived German Jews of the rights of citizens, forbade mixed Jewish marriages with non-Jews, and required Jews to wear a yellow star. In 1938, Hitler ordered Kristallnacht night of broken glass, and series of attacks on Jewish synagogues and businesses. After World War I, Japan was the strongest nation in Asia and was ready to conquer new lands to provide resources for Japanese industry. Emperor Hirohito gave full control of the Japanese military to Hideki Tojo, who served as a military dictator. In the 1930s, Japan, Italy, and Germany began aggressively expanding into new territories. And it is these actions that caused World War II in 1939. Italy invaded Ethiopia and Albania. Japan invaded Manchuria, Northern China also invaded Indochina and the East Indies. Germany annexed Austria and Czechoslovakia. Let's compare fascism, communism, and democracy. Use your notes and knowledge of the three types of government to complete the chart on the notes. Define each form of government, provide as many differences and similarities as you can, and be prepared to share out your answers.